So in this video, we're going to be rigging this landing gear pretty quick. Now this ship is from Kitbash. I'm not affiliated with them, but uh, if they're watching, hello. Now this tutorial was requested from a Patreon member, David Lawrence, and uh, this is his channel here. And uh, if you want to send me a message about a tutorial that you want, hey, just, just hit me up. Now there's three landing gears here, but I'm just going to focus on this one just by itself for now. So let's go ahead. First, I'm going to select the body shift S cursor to select it. And I want to create a root bone. So shift a armature single bone. Let's go into edit mode and I'm just going to make that big. And then this one's going to be our root bone. Now, the really important thing is to start naming our bones. So I will call this a root. And now I'm going to come into this section in here and start outlining where we're going to be putting our pistons. So the first plan is, is let's get the main landing gear rigged up and then we'll worry about the pistons in a sec. So we're going to start off. I'm going to select that section here. Make sure that goes all the way through. Shift S cursor to selected. And then from here, let's go back into our root bone. And this is why I've made it so big. So it's nice and easy to select into edit mode. Shift A. There we go. So we're going to call this leg front f for front underscore l eg leg <laughs> underscore the top bone now we need to come down here and select this bone here control l now if i were to select that we can see it doesn't go all the way through so what i'm going to do is select that face select that face control l to select everything that is linked shift s cursor to selected so it's right in the middle there now we can come back into this bone select the top shift s selection to cursor nice e to extrude and then we got it like that so now this one becomes our f underscore leg underscore bottom nice now when we select our object shift left click on our armature control p to parent with empty groups and uh, it's been it's had a bit of a hissy fit and that's because we can see that it's already parent it's already parented to an armature so looking at this, selecting this armature, I can't see any bones. So I'm just going to control left click on our secondary armature, control J to join. And that doesn't really help our situation here. So let's do a control Z, control Z, control Z. I'm just going to undo our parenting from here. Shift S cursor to selected. So then that way, when it moves again, we're going to put it back. I can see that the armature is parented to the empty. And this is just kind of the things that happen when you get somebody else's files. So I'm actually going to select the armature, select the empty control P parent object, keep transform and click and drag it into there. Then I'm going to select the armature that's up here. Then shift left click on our other armature, control J to join. Awesome. Now, when I hopefully click on the object, shift left click on the armature, control P with empty groups, ole, much better. Now, when we select our object, we come into our vertex groups. Let's go ahead and select what we want to be parented to our bone. Okay, so we're gonna have that, probably this and this, this and this, control L. Might just go into vertex mode and do another control L. Okay, let's increase our selection, we can't. And that's just the way that the mesh has been done. So I'm just going to increase everything that I pick. Control L now. Excellent. So this is what we've got. So from here, what I'm going to do is make sure we select our top bone and go assign. And for now, I'm just going to hide those bones. And what else can we steal? Maybe these ones as well here. We're going to grab that. Control L. And that can be the top. Hide. And then from here, let's select this. And is there anything else that we can select? Nope. This will be our bottom assign. So now when we select our armature and we're going to go into pose mode and we kind of rotate that up, you can see how it's rotating. Perfect. Exactly what we want. Now let's go ahead and work on these pistons. Now, probably the best way to do this is to set up some of these bones. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do is actually we'll get rid of everything we don't need. So control L hide. First lot of bones, we're going to select all this control L shift S cursor to selected, select the armature. Uh, we're going to go shift a, and this bone here is going to be kind of like an empty. We're going to have this bottom bone point to here because you can't have two point bones looking at each other or it just 
you do not have a good time, pretty much. First things we do is rename it. So we're going to call this one lower piston top. Um, and we're going to actually under, put in underscore as well and call this control. I am going to duplicate this bone and we will just call this lower piston top. Next one, let's come down into here. I'm going to select this face down the bottom. Hmm. No, this is not going to work because we can't have, oh no, that's fine. Shift S cursor to select it back into our armature. And then we're going to do another shift A and we're going to grab this name, lower piston top. This one here is going to be lower piston bottom. And then we'll do another shift D and then we'll go underscore control. I'm going to grab um, the top piston, grab just the top section there. And we'll do shift S selection to cursor. And then I'm going to go G Z Z Y Y X X. Ah, oh, you suck. And now this is the yuck bit is aligning everything. So it kind of works well. Now, because this bone is pointing directly up, if I were to use vertex groups to point to these bones, we're not going to have a good time. So for now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select these control L that's our there cursor to select it. And then we're going to grab both our pistons come up to the top here and go 3d cursor. So now when we rotate this around, I'm going to try and get this as straight as possible. Let's just eye it off. Nice. That's good. And then we're going to do the same for this one. So what we did earlier, select these shift S selection to cursor. Let's grab all that control L all right, we'll do all that as well. Rotate and let's just line it up to the best of our ability. I might just scale that down a little bit and then let's rotate that around. Awesome. So now when we go ahead, select our object, select our armature, control P parent with empty groups. Now we can start assigning these to vertex groups. So with this piece here, this is going to be our lower piston, um, lower piston bottom. And this section here, control L is going to be our lower piston top assign. Um, this bit here, which I didn't assign, which I should have done, but Marco was silly control L. This will be our leg bottom assign. So now when we come back into our thing, armature, that's the word we are going to go into our constraints. Now we can see we've got lower piston bottom. Beautiful. We're going to go dampen two, and we will select our armature. And then from here, we're going to top control and that's going to point directly to our control bone. Let's find our lower piston top. Awesome. Straight into constraints, dampen track. Let's select our armature and then control bottom. And now these two are facing each other. However, the problem is, is if I were to rotate this, nothing happens. That's all right. Small little fix. What we need to do is these two bones. We come into edit mode. We select this bone here come into our bone options, I guess, go into relations and our parent is going to be our top bone and we're not connected. Let's select the next bone and top. Let's select this bone and it's going to be bottom and bottom. So now when we go into parent mode and we rotate, everything kind of rotates and then that goes in as well. How cool is that? So there we go. We've now quickly rigged the piston to do what we need to do. And obviously it can only go so far. Let me just do quickly the other one. And there we have it. It's all now rigged up so that everything comes down and works well. If you found this handy, please like and subscribe.